What's going on, fishy friends? Alright, so I recently switched dechlorinators, and I wanted to talk about the reasons why. Um, this is what I had been using for quite a long time, Seachem Prime. Uh, it's a dechlorinator that handles chlorine, chloramines, it also removes ammonia, and it detoxifies nitrite and nitrate. Um, obviously, any of that is not what we want in the aquarium. Um, ammonia is a byproduct of not only fish food but fish waste and the nitrification cycle is the bacteria that converts the ammonia to nitrite and then a different set of bacteria that converts nitrite to nitrate. So the prime helps handle all that stuff even if it is present in the aquarium. Uh, there's some kind of binder of some sort that somehow handles this detoxifying of the nitrite and the nitrate. I'm not really sure of the science behind it, but I know this is a pretty good choice as far as the chlorinators go. Um, anybody using tap water already has to deal with the chlorine in their water, and there's a good chance you also have to deal with the chloramine in your water, which actually creates ammonia somehow. Um, if you're lucky enough to be on, say, well water or something like that, maybe you don't have to worry about that. But, so this bottle of Prime is the 500 milliliter size. I just checked before doing this, and currently on Amazon, that is listed at $21.40 on sale for $12.02. So this 500 milliliter bottle treats 5,000 gallons. Now, with all the tanks I have going on in my fish room, I was going through these bottles quite quick. So, I did what I thought was the logical progression and stepped up to the larger bottle of Prime. Same exact stuff in a two liter bottle. This is noted to handle 20,000 gallons and currently today on Amazon this is listed at $99.97 on sale for $38.19. So twelve dollars treats five thousand gallons. Thirty-eight dollars is treating twenty thousand gallons. Now I was also going through this bottle rather quick. Now granted I was probably overdosing. Uh, that's another nice thing about Prime. Um, you can dose it much higher than what it claims to without causing any damage. Uh, whether or not you're benefiting is, is questionable, and it's definitely costing money to overdose. So I probably was overdosing. I wasn't taking a syringe and actually measuring daily or anything like that. So then what I did was I came across Seachem Safe. Pardon my handwritten and dosing instructions on there. Seachem, Seachem Safe is the powdered version of Prime. Um, does the exact same thing, removes chlorine, chloramine, and ammonia, detoxifies nitrite and nitrate. This 250 gram bottle, currently on Amazon, listed at $21.75, sale price $12.87. So $12.87 treats 60,000 gallons. So that little bottle for 13 bucks does 60,000 gallons. This giant bottle for 38 bucks did 20,000 gallons. So that's why I switched from the Liquid Prime over to the Seachem Safe. Now there's plenty of other dechlorinators and things out there. I got another bottle of this. This is the only other thing I have in the fish room right now to use as a comparison. This is the API tap water conditioner. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this product. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do, and that's remove chlorine and chloramines. It also says it detoxifies heavy metals, um, and it'll do exactly that. I don't think it will provide the extra benefit that the Prime does where it removes the ammonia and also detoxifies the nitrite and the nitrate, um, which is definitely big benefit. Hopefully you don't have any of those particular readings in your tank as it is, but whether or not if you do, it's a good thing to use that over something like this in my opinion. Uh, as a price comparison, this API bottle, this is a 4 ounce bottle that treats 770 gallons. Let's see, the only price I looked up was for a 16 ounce bottle, so 4 times this was $9.87. So it definitely is cheaper, um, but it doesn't do quite as much as what the other stuff does.
Now the only other downside, I guess if you want to call it a downside, is actually measuring out this safe. I've got some handwritten conversions on here. For a 20 gallon tank, I need to dose 1 64th of a teaspoon. Up to four times is okay, so that means I can uh, dose four times the recommended dose perfectly fine, and I believe the recommendation is actually to dose four times as much uh, for ammonia, perhaps. So for a 75 gallon tank, 1 16th of a teaspoon, 38 gallon tank, 1 32nd of a teaspoon. Those are tiny little measurements. And I had to get tiny little measuring spoons. Um, I guess these are used by bakers and things like that. It's a pinch, a dab, a smidgen, uh, and things like that. So 1 64th of a teaspoon is actually a drop. Uh, I hand wrote my conversions on there. 1 32nd of a teaspoon is a smidgen. And then 1 16th of a teaspoon is a pinch. We're not going to focus on that, but... It's there somewhere. It's a pinch. There was a couple others that came in the set um, that I don't need because these are all I need to dose throughout my whole fish room. So that's that. There's my uh, my reasonings behind why I recently switched over to this powdered version of Safe. All right, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow Rich's Fishes on Instagram, and I'll talk to everybody later.